Good afternoon, Coach Slack here on his uh, daily prayer walk, uh, always with my Comboschini, remembering God, um, trying to reconnect to God, you know, um, on a daily basis, trying to stay connected, hopefully. Um, you know, when I pray for myself, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. When I pray for others, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, remember, and then insert the name of the people. Uh, anyhow, you've heard me talk about that before, and if you want to hear my prayer rule, look at some of the other videos or some of the different things that I do with my prayers. Uh, anyhow, today I got a couple uh, pretty cool stories. Um, you know, this morning, um, today is, uh, you know, uh, on the Orthodox calendar, we remember uh, Saint Dionysio of uh, Zakynthos, um, which is a very special saint to me. I have a couple stories relating to this. Um, but uh, so anyhow, I'll tell you the first story. So one of the times I went to the Holy Mountain, Mount Athos. Um, you know, I go to stay at the cell that I stay at uh, most often. I uh, Anas uh, Kelion uh, with Elder Antipas, and um, you know we had uh, been blessed to be able to build a guest quarters there. Um, and there was a bishop that uh, that the elder brought in from Zakynthos, named uh, Dionysiu, the current bishop of Zakynthos. Very very holy man. Um, considered uh, to be very pious and just very loving kind man and I can attest to that having spent about uh, seven or eight days with him on the holy mountain a uh, very intimate experience and anyhow um, previous to going to the holy mountain like I often do um, you know I'd, I'd spread the word that hey I'm going to the holy mountain I'm going to make a pilgrimage if anyone has any prayer requests um, you know write them down and I'll, I'll go deposit them on the holy mountain so um, one particular family very special to me um, you know the, uh, the, the the father was a priest and he had passed away and the, the wife the Matushka the Presbytera um, had given me a list and and and, and this was uh, it, it just meant a lot to me I mean all the prayer lists mean a lot to me but this one you know they were Serbian so I wanted to give it to us uh, someone you know a, a Slav you know someone who read Slavonic if if possible I kept praying that this may happen and so all the other prayer requests I had like in a folder and this particular one I had in my breast pocket and so um, I kept as I was traveling around uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 I think I ended up being there for about 12 days on that particular trip um, you know I was walking around the holy mountain and I kept looking for a uh, you know a Serbian or even just someone that read Slavonic to be able to give the deposit this prayer list with and as it is um, when the end of my trip came, the end of the pilgrimage, you know, I'm on the ferry heading back. I'm kind of putting my things in order. I'm sitting with an Archimandrite, Ionikius, and, um, and then I notice in my breast pocket, I had forgotten to deposit that particular prayer list. The one that, like, kind of, you know, I'd put in its own special place, um, I had forgotten. I was so devastated. And so I said to the Archimandra, I said, you know, does this ferry stop anywhere on the Holy Mountain? Because I'd made up my mind, if it stops at any of the monasteries along the way, I'll just give it to one of the fathers there. And at least I'll leave it on the uh, Holy Mountain as the family had expected. And so uh, he said, no, no, this is it. The ferry's leaving from the port of uh, Daphne uh, and it will end up in the port of Oranupolis. And um, so I was like, oh, you know, I was like, oh, well, God's will be done, you know. But I was a little bit sad about this. And so I started praying. I said, you know, God, I said, um, you know, I, I maybe overthought this one. I tried to make too many plans of my own. And uh, I'm really a little bit sad about this, but, you know, you can do all things. And uh, I just started saying the Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And before I know it, literally, like, a couple prayers in, the boat starts coming to a halt, hits reverse. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Uh, ends up going to a monastery, Xenophantos, which I'd stayed at before in 2007. And I uh, hear that bishop, who I'd spent seven or eight days with earlier on the pilgrimage, uh, Dionysio of Zakynthos, he's at the port of uh, Xenophantos, and the fathers there had called the ferry as it was passing and said, look, we have a bishop that needs to get back uh, to the island of Zakynthos. Can you please come back and pick him up as they pass? So they hit the brakes, reverse it, go to the port, um, pick up this bishop, uh, Dionysio, and uh, he comes on the boat, and everyone's, you know, trying to see the bishop and he comes and sits with me because we had built this relationship uh the first seven or eight days of my uh, pilgrimage this particular time and he sits down with me and uh we're sitting there having a conversation through his uh deacon who could speak some english um and i explained to him about the prayer list i said you know i had this prayer list and so uh the bishop dionysio takes the prayer list and he says ah 
don't worry. He goes, I will keep this prayer list and I will pray for it uh, every day the rest of my life. And I was like, oh, it just, it was so comforting. Um, and it just was a wonderful story. And so then he gives me a whole bunch of small paper icons of uh, St. Vianisio. And so I'd been giving uh, a lot of those away through, you know, since this time. It's been a few years since this pilgrimage I'm, I'm speaking of. And, uh, but always had this affinity uh, about uh, St. Vianisio. So today I'm down here at my, in uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida, where I have a second home. And, um, you know, and I go to the cathedral, St. Nicholas, uh, often. And I, so I look on their calendar and it says that they have a, a church service today um, in honor of St. Dionysiu, like I said, is on the Orthodox calendar today. And, um, and so, uh, but I look on the calendar, it says, you know, it's at the chapel of St. Dionysiu, which I never knew there was such a thing in Tarpon Springs. And so um, I look up the address, it says 419 um, Riverside, and, and when I look it up, it's like literally looks like it's in a trailer park, and I was like, wow, I, I never knew this. So morning comes, I wake up, I get ready for church, I head off to the, to the chapel, uh, in, you know, in search of the chapel, I should say, and uh, I go to the trailer park where the address is, and I'm kind of going in circles looking, I, you know, seeing some trailers, uh, private roads, some alleys. I'm going around. I'm asking people. They said they've never heard of 419, that this is 407. The next address said they're 446. Across the street was 420. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on here. So then I go to the main church. I thought, well, maybe it's a mistake. You know, maybe I'm mistaken, misreading this. And so I head off to the uh, cathedral itself, and the doors are locked. And now, by this time, it had been about a half an hour of searching, some, you know, about 20 minutes late. Uh, for the start of Orthros, and, uh, and and I forgot one part of the story. As I was driving around a bend, I see all these crosses in a yard, these white crosses, and you know it struck me because I'd ridden my bike, I'd walk, I'd driven by this house so many times, and it's actually a really nice house, and uh, I'd never seen these crosses, and I was I kept wondering, like I wonder what those are about. I'd never seen these before, and. Um, and part of the story is when I was in the uh, trailer park area, there was a couple of nice buildings in there. Um, and I kept thinking, you know, that could be a chapel, but it didn't have any crosses. I kept saying, there's no crosses. You know, it would usually be indicated at least by a cross to let you know. Um, so by this time, I'm searching for about 40 minutes. And I decide, well, you know, I guess I was mistaken. I'm just going to head towards home. And as I'm going home, I see that house again with the white crosses. And I notice there's a few more cars this time. So I'm like, maybe. So I pull up in the grass, you know, like some other cars there were parked. And I go to this home. And uh, lo and behold, I hear chanting through some doors. And so I open uh, a door that I hear chanting down the hall because I see no one. I knock, no one answers. And I start literally walking through this home. I know this sounds really crazy, but something was drawing me. And I really believe it was St. Dionysio. But, um, so I'm going down the hall and I see a yaya sitting there. I said, is there a church, you know, uh, ecclesia? And she said, oh, a key, a key, you know. And so I look and I go in another room and boom, there's the chapel of St. Dionysio in Tarpon Springs. And um, wonderful, wonderful orthros and liturgy. Um, they had the uh, a slipper of uh, St. Dionysio. He's uh, in Zacanthos. St. Dionysio is a uh, whole body. He is not um, decomposed at all. And uh, every year they, on this day, on the, they change his slippers uh, because they wear out. And so the, the, um, the story is that he walks around when no one's paying, you know, when no one's watching, that he walks around and does miracles. And his slippers wear out every year. And so they replace him. And this particular chapel happened to have one of those slippers as a relic um, to be reverenced. And uh, just a great, great experience. Um, full of the grace of God that came, albeit some struggle, you know, the 40 minutes of searching, almost giving up, um, you know, the unknown, uh, not knowing where I was going, any types of things, and, uh, you know, it was just a wonderful experience, and I just wanted to share that with you this morning, and, and, uh, and I'll end by saying this, um, you know, um, there's a saying that I've heard before, um, man makes his plans, but God directs his steps, so, you know, I felt like that was in play today, um, you know, I'd made the plans to go, but I had no clue about my steps. Uh, just like the time on Mount Athos with the prayer list, uh, you know, I kept making plans to give to certain people, and here it ended up in this this holy bishop's hands, and then came full circle today with uh, Saint Dionysio. So that's my story for today. Uh, keep praying, keep exercising. Uh, you know, stay mentally, spiritually, and uh, physically strong, and. Uh, 
I guess that's about it. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.